And in Washington, another shutdown showdown. Lawmakers today buying themselves a little bit more time to fund the government after agreeing to another short-term extension. NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Ryan Nobles has those details. Hey, Gotti, and yeah, we can breathe a bit of a sigh of relief. The government is not going to shut down, at least not for now. The lawmakers in both the House and Senate agreeing uh, to delay this process a little bit. Originally, we had an initial deadline that could have impacted about a third of the government that was set to take place tomorrow. They've now agreed to push that deadline back to a week from Friday, March 8th, and then a second deadline of March 26th, where about half of the government uh, will be set to expire if they don't come up with a deal. And it's that second half of this proposal where there could be some difficulty. Those are the big items uh, that lawmakers are still negotiating over. It's uh, the budgets for the Department of Defense, uh, Department of Homeland Security, the State Department, and others. Uh, and this is a significant uh, disagreement, and there are si significant disagreements between Republicans and Democrats about how to move forward in that arena. Now, negotiators remain confident that they're going to be able to pull it off, uh, and that's why they've all agreed to this short-term extension to get to the point where they could negotiate more and get to a place where they can come to an agreement that would then fund the government through September. But the long and short of, this, all, of all of this is that we don't have to worry about a shutdown in the immediate future. Lawmakers have come to that agreement. The negotiations will continue, and we're probably going to have a conversation similar to this at the end of March. But at least for now, uh, a crisis is averted. Gotti. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.